This video will discuss non-abelian character tables in symmetry and group theory. So in our previous video, we introduced character tables for abelian point groups. An abelian point group is a point group where all of the irreducible representations are one-dimensional. So it basically is a, a point group where your principal axis has a CN of less than or equal to 2. So abelian point groups include C1, C2, CS, CI, C2V, C2H, D2, and D2H. Those are the only point groups where you'll see uh, where you'll see exclusively ones uh, or n minus ones uh, with respect to uh, every sing the character of each ear up in each uh, symmetry operation. So we're, now we're going to introduce the concept of the dimensionality of an ear up. So that is equal to the character of that irrep under the E operation, under identity. So if we have an irrep label like A and B that we discussed in the previous video, A and B irreps are both have a one character under the identity operation. So those are one dimensional irreps. There are also irreps that have the label E or EG, or E1, or E prime, and those have a character of two under the identity, meaning that those are two-dimensional irreps, two-dimensional irreducible representations. You can also find T in some cases. In order for there to be a T in the point group, it has to be a cubic point group, so things like tetrahedral, octahedral, icosahedral. That's where you'll see three-dimensional irreps, and then you typically won't see anything higher than that, but those do exist. Um, group theory can be applied to mathematical objects in higher dimensions, but in this course we're mostly interested in molecules, and molecules are three-dimensional for all the purposes that we're concerned with. Okay, so for the most part you'll see A and B, uh, sometimes E if you have a principal axis of greater than, th greater than 2, and if you're in a special cubic group, you'll see T groups as well. So for TD, um, the tetrahedral point group, I see they have E, C3, C2, S4, and sigma D. Notice that this differs in the, in the grouping of the symmetry operations than our other abelian point groups like C2. Uh, because there, in abelian point groups, each symmetry operation was listed individually. So here, in non-abelian groups, there are eight C3 operations, there are three C2 operations, there are six S4s, and six sigma Ds in this TD point group. But all of those C3 operations fall under what's called the same class. Um, I'm not going to discuss further what that means, that they're in the same class. It's a somewhat advanced definition for what that means, but basically any anything that we look at is going to have the same character under all eight of those C3 operations. So an A1, something that is an A1 irrep is going to have the same plus one character under all of those C3 operations. Same things for the three C2s, six S4s, etc. Um, let's see, so we have those different classes of operations, and then we have our irreps listed as well. Um, their dimensionality under E is, their, their character under E is their dimensionality. And now we have not only the possibility of 1 and minus 1 for their character, but also 2, minus 2, 0, 3, etc. So lots of more possibilities for what those uh, could be. Another concept to introduce now is the order of a particular point group, sometimes represented by a lowercase h. The order of a point group is the total number of symmetry operations of that point group. And there's different ways that we can get what the order of a group is. So for TD, for example, we can count up how many total symmetry operations are there. 1 plus 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 6 in the character table here. That's equal to 24. Another way to do it is to add up the square of the dimensionality of all of our irreps. So 1 squared plus 2 squared, sorry, 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 3 squared, as I have represented down there for the 5 irreps, that also adds up to 24. 
for abelian point groups, this makes sense by construction because each uh, operation is by itself. All the irreps are one dimensional. So that's just the sum of the number of columns, which is equal to the sum of the number of rows. But for non-abelian groups, that gets a little more, more complicated due to all these uh, sets there. So for C3V, that'd be one plus two plus three equals six, which is one squared plus two, one squared plus one squared plus two squared, which also equals six. So the order of a, of a point group is also going to come up uh, in a, a little bit in later, operate, later videos as well in this chapter. So th that's our second video on character tables, introducing non-abelian groups where we have multi-dimensional ereps where the character uh, can have values besides one or minus one under our different classes of symmetry operations belonging to that group.